I guess we first kind of became a band here in the sh in the ship. Like, it's not the van; it's the ship. The ship. I sold my car last year and bought this, which yep. was maybe a dumb thing. It was a crazy move, but we all appreciated it. And we literally wouldn't be who we are if not for this vehicle. Or being able to just sit and enjoy each other's company, basically yeah. in like a big living room. Yeah. Listen to music together, VHS. We've written in this thing. We've like yeah. literally written a song on top the to way bottom to on the way City. to Kansas City in here. Uh, and we became best friends in this thing. And then like we get to these cities in the ship and we meet these people and we share our story, our songs, our stories, and we hear their stories. And that's been like half of the reward here. This is the great, it's like we're going into Narnia. <laughs> So this is uh this is the studio. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, the normal kind of place you might go for a studio experience, but we uh, we love it out I here. Love it. It's on a on a farm, and uh, we call it the farm for obvious reasons. There are horses and and many horses, <laughs> many horses and uh, cats and dogs and chickens and pigs, literally farm animals, just all kinds. And it's been nice to be here and work inside this red building. Uh, practically windowless and then come outside on breaks and have this away from the city and just to it's just it's been inspiring you know yeah. so and let's then, go inside uh, yeah so uh, this is the control room and we've done a lot of vocals in here and stuff and yeah this is where I'd say the bulk of the band really came together. Yeah, absolutely. This is the place where all of our relationships we made in the in the ship, driving around, it really solidified us into yeah. a band here in this studio. I wouldn't say any, it was anywhere else but here. Yeah, we, we came in here to track my solo EP, which was going to be a folk Americana thing. And the farm was kind of a great atmosphere for that. But through working with each other and, and Andrew Berktold, our producer, and the band, uh, John and Ayrton and Eric, we kind of realized there's something else going on. Yeah, everything kind of changed and it became, you know, the guys who were had begun just by helping us produce and play on this record just eventually became the band and yeah. created the band sound that we now have. Which we would not have found if not for this farm and Andrew. these specific people, yeah. So we've been working here at the farm since last September, um, and it's been a beautiful experience for us getting to work together and create a new sound um, that you know is the new schematics. And we put out Born Without Borders, which you guys received so warmly, and we appreciate that so much. And we can't wait to put out another single and music video and EP. But in order to really move to the next part of our story, we need your help. Yeah, you can become a pledger uh, by giving any amount of money that you feel comfortable with. And we have a lot of great incentives for you guys at a lot of different price points. And uh, if anything in Born Without Borders or uh, our videos have really struck a chord with you guys, we think that a lot of our other songs are going to be uh, just as great for you. And we, we really are excited about getting them out there uh, and then also getting out and playing them on the road. See you there.